Can't believe I woke up this morning wondering if my daddy would loan me his overcoat. And here it is just past midnight. I've already robbed a railroad train. I'm sitting in a rocking chair chatting with none other than Jesse James. Yeah, it's a wonderful world. Oh. What's this? Oh, yeah. I did. Because I was real agitated this morning. I was wondering if I would know you or Frank tell you all apart. And uh, so I had this clipping that described you both. Want me to read it? Go on. Well, I gotta find it. Hold on. Uh, here. Uh, here. Uh, Jesse James, the youngest, has a face as smooth and innocent as a schoolgirl. The blue eyes, very clear and penetrating, are never at rest. His form is tall and graceful and capable of great endurance and great effort. Jesse is lighthearted, reckless, and devil may care. Uh, there's always a smile on his all lips. Right, and a, all right, all right, all right, all right, Well, yeah, then just Frank, 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 that's nothing. And then... You know what I got right next to my bed? It's The Train Robbers, or a Story of the James Boys by R.W. Stevens. I mean, many's the night I stayed up with my eyes open and my mouth open, just reading about your escapades in the Wide Awake Library. They're all lies, you know. Of course they are. You don't have to keep smoking at it if it's making you money. Alexander Franklin James would be in Baltimore when he would read of the assassination of Jesse James. He had spurned his younger brother for being peculiar and temperamental. But once he perceived that he would never see Jesse again, Frank would be wrought up, perplexed, despondent. <laughs> 